What's going on, Panther Nation? What's going on? I can't complain, can't complain, man. We bounce back. Week two, we bounce back, and we win against the 49ers. Main thing that I was really happy about was it looks like to me Carlos Hyde only had like 34 yards. Um, we we forced them to be one dimensional, and that's when our pass rush uh, took over and started forcing things and stuff. We may not got really any sacks, but like I said, um, you know our sack total isn't really that high this year. But um, we're causing havoc other areas, forcing the ball out quickly. And like I said, man, I'm just glad that the run uh, the run defense showed up today. Um, we got some growing pains. Looks like, um, because I, I guess we missed an assignment on McDonald. Um, I got, that was a good, that was a good play. You can't take that away from him. Um, but Carolina would have, like I said, blown the fuck out of the 49ers if we didn't turn the ball over five times. We had five turnovers. When a team turns the ball over five times, you're expected to lose. Um, but Carolina, they, they forced some turnovers as well to kind of balance the game out, but. 49ers fall hard. They're actually better than what I, than what I, uh, when I thought. Um, so the fucking Rams beat Seattle, man. So and then Seattle barely. I don't think Seattle was that good this year. Um, they barely beat. It is early. You know, teams are still you know getting right and shit. But um, I think I think by about week nine, week ten, you're gonna see who the real teams are made of. Um, when it gets deeper into the season. Right now, the teams are kind of rusty and they're trying to shake it off. But yeah, guys, we're going on week three. Um, Cam played really good. Um, he had a fumble. Can't, sometimes, you know, that happens. You know, when you're running, sometimes it just happens. Somebody can just come behind you, knock it out your hands. It's out of your control. You're just trying to make a play. Um, I, commend, I commend Cam Newton for trying to make a play, though. Um, so... I'll take a fumble and interception from Cam if he wins those games and plays like he normally does any day of the week. Uh, he's my quarterback. Uh, out of 32 teams, Cam's my guy, dude. Cam is Cam is spectacular, man. I mean, I'm not even going to talk about Cam Newton because there's no need to. He's, his play speaks for itself. Man, I'm through for 400 yards. Um, he's, he's the leader of the Panthers. <clears throat> So he's carrying the torch. Um, Luke had an interception, I believe. Um, man, it's just a lot of good things to go. I mean, our two rookies had two interceptions. They're only going to get better as the season goes on. It's scary. It's really scary how good our team can be. Like, it's really scary. No Josh Norman, no problem. James Bradbury, he fucking, what do you have? An interception, two pass defense defenses and two tackles I want to say um incredible man incredible and then Fozzie Whitaker man stepping up run in the run game man he fucking he had 100 yards man he's not even our starting running back and Jonathan Stewart went down um this shows how next player up mentality for Carolina somebody's got to pick up the rifle and keep shooting um so not really much to say um what else what else is there to talk about um. Oh yeah, Kelvin Benjamin. Oh my God, dude. Fuck Megatron, man. For for the uh, used to play for the Lions, man. Optimus Prime is on a whole new level, man. He's on a mission. He had two touchdowns, 107 yards. He had like 40 points in fantasy, fantasy football. I mean, this guy is only going to get stronger with Cam Newton and the chemistry. Um, he opens opportunities for Greg Olson that that 78 yard uh, wide fucking open man, um, and then Funches just to top the cake off, and then Ted Ginn man he's just so fast man he's he's one of the fastest players in the NFL if not the fastest. Carolina knows how to use him. He's bumped from team to team, and it's no coincidence that Carolina knows how to use him. Ricky Ricky Pro just he he's just a smart guy and he uses Ted Ginn to the fullest. Um, and Ted Ginn's career, his career got vitalized, and he's going to be relevant because of Carolina. And like I said, man, I just can't speak enough about how proud I am of this organization, how proud am I am to be a fan, um, you know, through life struggles, through football struggles. I'm here for my team, and Carolina's having the most fun out of any team playing football. It's obvious. Last year it was obvious. 
Um, let's just keep it going, and uh, we're going to keep pounding. Um, and we're going to. I don't see why we can't make it back to Super Bowl Fifty One with the offense that we're showing, the explosiveness, and the defense that we have. Defense is going to get better, as well as the offense. Shit. As long as Mike Shula continues to call a good game and not call stupid plays. So that's all I got to say, guys. Um, keep pounding. Uh, we got Minnesota. We got Minnesota next week. I'll make a preview on that. Who I got some things to say about that one. Um, but till then, guys, uh, keep pounding. Go Panthers and. Um, Fuck, man. We're ready. We're ready for Minnesota, man. I'm fucking pumped, dude. All right, guys. You guys take it easy. Keep on and go Panthers.